My status is the queen of school. I have to put it on private to test my friends. What status did you get, honey? Um, gardener, mom. What? Get out of my house now. I'm so happy with my status. What did you get? A lawyer. What about you? Why is it private? Surely your status is lower than mine. That's why you're hiding it. Babe, why is your status private? Because I got gardener and I don't want anyone to know. What? I can't date a gardener, so we have to break up. I got supervisor. I can't be seen with a gardener. Your status isn't even that important. At least it's better than yours. Sir, why would you give me an F on this paper? I studied so hard for this. Well, it's because of your status. You don't deserve to get high grades. Thanks, sir, for giving me an A on the this test. This is so unfair. I really want to be Jake's girlfriend. What? Why? Jake is really handsome. Why are all the girls surrounding him like that? Because his status is the king of the school. Of course, everyone's going to like so, him. So, Jake is the king? How come no one's received the status queen of school yet? I don't know, but I think Emily will get it because she's the most beautiful girl in school. Guys, let's go library together. No, I don't want to be friends with you anymore because you're not on my level. Yeah, there's no use for us to be friends. Hey, what are you doing in our class? You're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be in the lower class. Hmm, turns out all my friends are fake. That's enough. I've tested them all now. It's time for me to show my real status. Why does it say error? Is there an error in the system? Guys, you won't believe it. I got the status queen of school. What? No, I have the status queen of school. You don't have to lie, Amara. Yeah, just tell us your real status. Guys, I'm the original school queen, not Emily. What the heck? You're just jealous of me. Where's the proof that you're the queen of school anyway? My status still says error, but just trust me, I'm not lying. No, we don't trust you. You told me you were a gardener yesterday. That's why I broke up with you. See, clearly I'm the queen of school. I've already asked the principal to kick you out. No, you can't do that. Of course I can, and you'll see soon. Hey, you have to pack your things. You're expelled from school. Sir, you can't do that. I'm the queen of school. Emily is the queen of school, and I trust her more. You don't even have proof. But, sir. Sir, give her a chance to prove her status. Okay, because you're the king of school, I have to accept your request. Jake, thanks for helping me earlier. You're welcome. I hope you're not lying to me about your status. Of course not. Hey, Gardener, don't come near Jake. He's my soulmate. You can't ban her from talking to me. I'm waiting for her error to go away so she can show her real status. But I am the queen of school. I'm literally the prettiest girl here. Well, one of you are lying, and whoever it is will get a harsh punishment. How do I fix the system? Ouch, my leg is injured. What happened? I fell while sweeping the floor. Okay, wait right here. I'll be right back. Oh, look, the gardener's trying to help the cleaning lady. <laughs> Here's some medicine. Thank you, you're very kind. <gasps> my status, it doesn't say error anymore. Hey, gardener, what are you talking about? It must be fake. You're the one who's fake. I'm going to make you regret saying that. I heard you're the new school queen. Yeah, Emily was lying this whole time. We always believed you. Let's be friends, please. I don't want to be friends with you guys. You're evil. And besides, aren't you Emily's best friends? Not anymore. We don't want to be friends with Emily. We want to be friends with the queen. So your status appeared. You're the real queen. I'm so happy. Jake, don't believe her. According to the rules, the king must obey the queen. What do you want, queen? I want Emily's status to be changed to gardener. Okay, fine. I admit I lied about my status, but please don't change it to gardener. You deserve to get the punishment. Mom, I got my name. What is it, honey? It says Margaret Onions. I love it so much. What kind of a name is that? Actually, I find it quite unique. Uh, honey, are you sure about that? Yes, just imagine. Margaret Onions. Wait, you're right. It's awful. I didn't want to say anything. What am I going to do now? Honey, relax. Don't get frustrated. You can change your name. Just refuse it and it will give you another one soon. Okay. Hey, Bestie, do you already have a name? Yes, you can now call me Britney Spears. The singer? Yep. You're so lucky. What name did you get? It doesn't matter. I refused it. You can't imagine how horrible it was. Was it that bad? The donkey? Seriously? I'm going to have to refuse again. No, stop refusing. Why not? Imagine one day I marry the prince and he says, Welcome, princess, the donkey. Calm down. I'm just trying to say that it's your second option and you can only refuse up to three. 
And the last option could be even worse, do you understand? What does this bag mean, mom? You'll get a free bag, honey. Free? Yes, it will consist of three colors. Black means rich, pink means ordinary, and blue means poor. Then I hope I get black. Three, two, one. <gasps> Why did I get a blue bag? You should never wear that bag. I can't believe I got blue. I mean, just look at your house. It's so ugly. Obviously, you're going to get the blue bag. What color did you get? Black, because my family's rich. Bestie, what color bag did you get? I got pink. What about you? I got blue. Oh my gosh, blue? Yes, why are you shocked? Because you're the only one who got blue, so you're special. Special? How? That means I'm the only poor person in school. No, that bag will be a blessing for you. But I feel like this bag is going to bring me a lot of bad luck. I'm just going to throw it away. Goodbye bag. I hope I get a new black bag. Amara, I heard you got a blue bag. No, miss. I haven't got in a bag yet. Miss, she's lying. No, I'm not. Anyway, before school finishes, you have to show us your bag. But I threw the bag away. I have to find it. I threw my bag here, but it's gone. Are you looking for this? Hey, that's my bag. Give it back. In one condition. You have to return the bag to me tomorrow. That's my bag. Why should I return it? Fine. See, I knew she was lying. You have to leave the city immediately, Amara. Why? Because no one here accepts poor people like you. Why does my bag suddenly feel heavy? Come on, please leave. Wait, miss, before I leave, let me show you what's inside my bag. Well, hurry up. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of money in here. <gasps> that means she's not poor. Please give me the money. Amara, don't listen to her. Give me the money. I need it more. Amara, why is there so many people outside our house? It's because of this blue bag, Mom. You need to hide it. You're embarrassing That's me. funny, actually. You still don't know what's inside of this bag, do you? Oh, my gosh. Money. I'll give you some if you want. No, that money isn't yours. Return it to its owner. Amara, everyone loves you. They said they want to make you the queen of the city. What? Why? Because you're the richest girl in the city. Today's your coronation. It's true what Arya said. This bag really is a blessing to me. Now, please, make your way to the palace for the coronation. Now? Dreams really do come true. Yeah, don't forget to bring your bag. Mm-hmm. Hello, it's time for you to return the bag to me. But I don't want to. This bag is mine. But you promised. You can't change your mind now. Oh, my gosh, I forgot. But this bag is mine. You don't have the right to take it. You'll regret not giving it to me. We'll see. Okay, keep the bag. Amara, everyone's waiting for you. Wow, I can't believe everyone loves me. Now it's time for your coronation. Is that the crown? It's so beautiful. You decided not to give me the bag, so now you have to pay the price. What? Rich potion or beauty potion? Of course I choose the beauty potion, so my friends won't make fun of me anymore. Good morning, mom. Good morning, honey. Which potion did you I choose use? the beauty potion. Honey, why would you do that? We could have been rich. You know we needed that money to pay off our debts. Don't worry, mom. I'll use my beauty to find a rich husband and he can pay our debts. I can't wait. Soon I'll be beautiful and everyone will have a crush on me. Honey, why haven't you gone to school yet? I'm waiting for my sister. She went with our boyfriend earlier. Boyfriend? She's only 10 years old. You know your sister's very pretty. That's why she has so many guys who like her. I'm going to school. Bye. Look, the ugly girl's here. She just gets uglier every day. You'll regret saying that because soon I'll be more beautiful than all of you. What? <laughs> You're joking, right? That's impossible. You look sad. Yeah, I'm sick and tired of everyone being mean to me. Don't worry about them. I think you look beautiful. Everyone says I'm ugly, but Jake always tells me I'm beautiful. You do know that earlier, Jake asked Sarah to be his girlfriend, right? What? But he always tells me I'm beautiful. It's probably because he feels bad for you. This whole time I thought Jake liked me. Turns out he just feels sorry for me. It's loading. Will I be beautiful by the time I wake up tomorrow? I can't wait. Hey, girl, who are you? What are you doing here? What are you talking about, mom? It's me, Amara. Amara, what happened to your face? <gasps> I look beautiful. It's because you chose the beautiful potion yesterday, honey. Finally, I'm beautiful. 
Where's my ugly sister? What are you doing? It's me, your ugly sister. Amara, what did you do to be this beautiful? Don't worry about it. Do you think a lot of guys will have a crush on me now? Of course I do. Hey, look, that's the new girl. She's so beautiful. Oh my God, everyone's looking at me. Hello, you're new here, right? Nice to meet you. I'm Jake and I'm single. Why is he lying? I thought he was dating Sarah. Hello, what's your name? My name is Emily. Emily, can I sit next? Yeah, sure. Seriously? Thank you. Now he'll see. I'm going to take revenge for what he did to me. Purple village or yellow village? Which one do you think I should choose? Just choose the purple village, honey, because you don't have any friends and there you can make friends. Okay, I'll choose the purple village. Look at Amara. She's always alone. Yeah, she doesn't have a dad. Continue bullying me. I don't care. You don't care? Yeah, because soon I'll have new friends at the purple village. Did you just say purple village? Oh my gosh, she chose the purple village. Why did they all look surprised? I just heard from the other kids that you chose the purple village, right? Yes. Cool, I chose the purple village too. Finally, I found someone else who chose the purple village too. Did anyone else choose the purple village besides us? No, just us. We stand alone. Okay, good. Guys, I know you all don't like me, but can you please just answer one question? Okay, what do you want? Why did you all choose the yellow village? Why didn't you choose the purple village? Because there's a mystery behind the purple village. Oh, there's a mystery? Yeah, apparently it's dangerous to go there. But that's not what mom told me. That's weird. My mom didn't tell me it was dangerous. She said I'd have new friends. Okay, I'm about to go see it for myself. Three, two, one. Huh? I'm already at the purple village. Welcome to the purple village. Hi everyone. Here you'll have a lot of friends. So nice to meet you. Welcome. Finally, I have new friends here. What was your old village like? Everyone bullied me. Why? Because I don't have a dad. Don't worry, here no one will bully you. In fact, bullying is forbidden. I don't think anyone else chose the purple village besides you. I have a friend named Kelly. She also chose the purple village. But where is she? She hasn't come yet. True. I wonder why she's not here yet. <gasps> that must be her. I'm going to tell her to come over. Hey, finally you arrived. There's so many people you have to meet. Come on. Sorry, Amara, I didn't come here to live in this village. Huh? You didn't come to live here? Then what are you doing here? I came here to pick you up. Listen, you need to know that the people in this village are actually... I can know my boyfriend's friend's name or what people have me saved us on the phone. Of course, I'm going to choose contact name. Morning, Mom. Morning, honey. Mom, how come you've saved my name as least favorite child? No, honey, that was your sister. She took my phone and changed your name. I don't know how to change it back. Hey, Jess. Hey, bestie. I miss you so much. Two-faced? Seriously? How did you know? Did you hack my phone? No, I have the power to see what people save me as. I can't believe you saved me as two-faced. Hey, Amara, you can read the contact names, right? Please, can you check what my boyfriend saved me as? Okay. Girlfriend number three. Not possible. There must be an error in the system. Hey, Amara, why are you in a bad mood? Nothing. I'm just getting annoyed with people. Why are you annoyed? You're the same. Hey, nerd, why are you always walking alone? You don't have any friends, do you? When will you stop bullying me? Never. By the way, what did you say my name as on your phone? I saved your name as the loner. Are you sure? Switch bodies with sister or soulmate? My sister doesn't really take showers anymore, so I'm gonna pick soulmate. Whoa, this is my soulmate's body? She's so beautiful. Amara, go to the principal's office now. Her name is Amara? Look, the nerd is here. Are you talking about me? Yeah, you have a problem? Tell us now. Why are they like this? Hey, do my homework. Why are you giving it to me? Did you forget our agreement? Huh? Agreement? If you don't want to do my homework, I'm going to tell my dad to remove you from the school. I'm not going to do it. So, all this time my soulmate has been treated like this? Why don't you want to do my homework? Because I just don't. You'll regret that. Wow, Amara's brave now. Are you the one who tore Sarah's uniform? What? No! Yeah, she did, miss. She tore my uniform. 
Stop lying. You're only angry because I didn't do your homework. Amara, I believe Sarah. You ripped her. You know no, I didn't. Why are you speaking to me like that? I'm your teacher. Why are you treating your students so badly? You're believing her over me. You're brave. Now, I'm going to teach you a lesson. What are you going to do? Amara, there's a handsome guy looking for you. He's at the canteen. Mom, what choices did I get? Your choice is to take off your ponytails or your lipstick. Okay, I'll remove my lipstick. You can't. Bad things will happen if you remove it. Okay, Mom. Look, the blind girl. Yeah, that lipstick looks so ugly on Are you guys not tired of bullying me? Hey, the blind girl has the courage to answer now. <laughs> Class, we will hold a poetry reading competition. I want to join. You're blind. How are you going to read? Sir, don't let her. Amara, from now on, you don't have to join reading class. It's useless. Yeah, but... Actually, we're ashamed to have people like you in our class. Why do I have to be blind? Why can't I be the same as the other kids? Hello, excuse me. I'm new here. I wanted to ask where the library is. In, uh... Uh, sorry, you can't see, right? Yes, I'm blind. Oh, okay. I'm Ryan, by the way. I'm Amara. Look, the blind girl's here. Let's bully her. Hey, red lip, confused, right? Where Give it back, going? please. Here, take it. You're stupid anyway. Guys, stop bullying her. Who the hell are you? Why are you getting involved? Actually, he's handsome. Why don't you introduce yourself? I don't want to be friends with mean girls like you. You're so arrogant. Let's just go. Thanks, Ryan, for helping. Welcome, Amora. I'm your friend after all. Wow, I finally have a friend. You don't have any friends at school? No, they all think I'm weird because I'm wearing red lipstick. They call me red lip. Why are you wearing it anyway? You're beautiful without it. Just remove it. Mom says bad things will happen if I do. I feel like there's something weird about that lipstick, don't you? Maybe that's why you're blind. No way. I've been blind since childhood, Ryan. But you've also worn that lipstick since childhood. Oh. You're right. Just remove it. Don't be scared. Okay, I'll remove it now. The government gave me four million? I'll just put it on private so no one uses me for my money. Wow, this is a very big school. Yes, this is a school for rich people's children. Oh, I see. You can only enter class in one condition. What condition? You have to have at least 500k. What kind of school requires this much money? From your answer, I already know you're poor. Ah, it hurts. Let go. Hey, what are you doing? You don't have to interfere. This new kid is poor. He only has 200k. He deserves to be tortured. So people at the school are beaten for having little money. Hey, your name's Amara, right? Why did you seem concerned about that new kid earlier? Actually, what's your balance? 20,000. Why? I guessed. You have to leave this class now. I don't want to. You slapped me? I can do whatever I want. I'm the richest kid in school. True, she is. Don't mess with her. Let's go to the canteen. Oh, I forgot. You're poor. You can't afford food here. It's only for rich people. Do you want me to buy food for you? What are you going to do? Borrow money of people? <laughs> she thinks she can buy food for us all. Keep dreaming. Why are you sitting here? Because it's my seat. It doesn't matter. I want to sit here today, so you have to leave. I don't want to. Amara, quickly, step aside. She's the richest girl in school. You have to listen to what she says. Why doesn't she sit on her own seat? Why does she have to sit here? Amara, enough is enough. Do what she says. <sighs> That's it. I'm putting my balance on public. Look at the poor girl. Did you just finish robbing a bank? Maybe she got a sugar What? Dye. No, this is my original balance. Did you guys see? Apparently Amara's balance now is higher than Gemma's. Shut up, all of you. She probably robbed the bank. I'm still the richest girl in school. It's not even her money. Amara, admit it. Where did you get the money from? I told you. The money's from the government. The government? I knew it. You're a thief. You stole money from the what government. What the heck? No, they gave it to me. I'm going to report you to the government. Come with me now. Where are you taking me? This is going to end now. You want to report me? The government man is my dad. Sir, I would like to report... What's wrong, honey? Remove my scarf or get 10 kilograms of gold? I've never removed my scarf before, so I'm going to remove it. No, that scarf protects you from bad things. Don't remove it. Okay, I'll choose the gold. Mom, I'm going out with my friends. Okay, remember, whatever you do, do not remove that scarf. Yes, Mom, I know. 
It's really hot today. Hey, have some of my juice. I haven't tasted juice since I was a child. You really don't know what sweet tastes like? How about salt or sour? I don't know. Yeah, you're weird. We can't be friends anymore. Come on, let's go, guys. Wait! Amara, are you not swimming? I can't swim, sir. Why is that? Because my scarf will get wet and I can't dry it because my mum told me I can't remove it. Oh, then I'm going to have to fail you for this class. Fail me? Yes. Today, there'll be a cooking lesson. Who here can cook? Me. I know how to cook. Okay, then. Please register your name. I'm going to try a little bit of your meal. How is it, sir? Why does it taste so salty? But I've never tasted salt before. What is it? It's better if you don't take cooking class anymore. Look, it's the girl who never tasted food before. And what's even worse is that she's been wearing that scarf since... I'm not weird. I also don't know why my mom always tells me to wear the scarf. Amara, did you know there's other girls who can't taste food either? I think it's because of the scarf. Why don't you remove it? But my mom says if I remove it, bad things will happen. You still believe that? You don't know what will happen. Just remove it. Okay, I'll try it. I've removed it. Just be careful if something bad happens to me. Just calm down. Now, we have to see if the reason why you can't taste food is because of that scarf. Hey, I have a drink for you to try. I wonder what it tastes like. I wonder what this tastes like. Wait, I can finally taste. This means the reason why I can't taste is because of the scarf. But why did your mom give you that scarf? I don't know. Has she ever given you anything to eat? She always tells me to eat bread, but I don't know what bread it is. I think your mom doesn't want you to know the real taste of bread. You have to find out why. You're right. I have to investigate. Mom, I'm home. Already? You didn't remove your scarf, did you? No, mom. As always, you have to eat this bread. Yes, I'll eat it later. Why don't you eat it now? I'm full. I'll just eat it later in my room. Okay. I have to know what bread really tastes like. Why is this so bitter? I'm sure bread isn't supposed to taste like this. I have to find out what exactly this is. Mom, I'm going out for a bit. Where are you going? To work on a group project with my friends. But have you already ate the bread? Yes, Mom. Okay, you can go. Jess, where are you? Amara! <sighs> Finally, I found you. Is that the bread you've been eating? This is the bread. My mom always gives it to me, but it tastes bitter. I don't really think it's bread. Give me the bread. Let me find someone who can check it. Thank you so much for helping me. Calm down. Don't worry. I got this. That's strange. Amara's not wearing the scarf anymore. And she said she can taste food. How come? I couldn't taste because of that scarf. Because my mom always told me to wear it. I'm really sorry I bullied you in the past. It's okay. Amara, I found someone who can check the bread. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. Excuse me. Can we ask you about the bread? Give me the bread. Let me check. Results are out. So, what is it? How many times have you eaten this? I've been eating it ever since I was a kid. Is there something wrong with this bread? Oh my gosh, this isn't bread. This is... <gasps> Ooh, candy! Wait, honey, what are your options? Candy or a pen? I'm gonna choose the candy. Do not choose the candy. Choose the pen now. Okay, fine. Honey, what are you drawing? I'm drawing a huge snowman. Breaking news, a huge snowman was found walking on the road. Yes, it worked. I knew it. What worked? Everything you draw comes true. Okay, I'm going to draw my dad because I don't know where he is. No, don't draw your dad. I never want to see that man again. Come with me. What is it, mom? Draw me younger. I want to look like a teenager. What? Just do it. Okay. Done. Oh my gosh, it worked. Okay, now, draw me a car, a big mansion, a hundred million, a huge swimming pool, lots of... Mom, I'm tired of drawing you things. I want to draw something for myself. Listen to me. If you don't draw what I say, you'll never see that pen again. If everything I draw comes true, then why hasn't my dad appeared yet? Come on, honey. It's your sister's turn. She has a whole list for you to draw. Mom, let me go. Who's that? Honey, wait, what are you doing? I'm drawing a cat. Honey, you can't draw on yourself. What you draw on your body will stay on your soulmate's body forever. 
Oops. Bestie, what are you doing? Relax. I'm drawing a heart on my face to make it easier for me to find my soulmate. But I think your soulmate won't be happy with a permanent heart on his face. Don't worry. He'll thank me a lot later. Amara, look at your face. <gasps> he turned a heart into a spider. He's not going to get away with this. Relax. Revenge is not the best answer. Amara, what did you do? A permanent mustache. Let's see if he'll like this. Bestie, have you noticed your arm? I think your soulmate drew something on it. Yeah, I don't think he liked the mustache very much. What's written on that? <gasps> Wait, he wrote an address. Honey, can you tell me what name you got above your head? Princess. Stop messing around. I'm being serious. What does it say? No, I'm not. It really says princess. Whatever. I'll just ask you when you get older. Hey, princess, where's your prince? Haha, ha, very funny. We all know you're lying. Why would I lie about something like this? It really says princess. Yeah, in your dreams. Let's go, guys. Are they bullying you because of the princess thing? Wait, you don't believe me either? I want to, but the real princess is at the palace right now. I don't even know anymore. Hey, mom. Hey, honey, can you turn on the TV for yeah, me? Yeah, sure. Should I order some food? The palace has released a statement about the dethroning of the princess. The queen has found out she's not her real daughter. Select remaining time. What does this mean, mom? So the government gives you a chance to choose your remaining life. My remaining time? Yes, you have to choose over 80 years, okay? Let your life be Okay, mom, I'll select a lot of years. Wait, should I choose a lot of years now or should I choose 10 years and increase it later? I don't think I need to stress because I'm still young. So how many years did you choose, honey? I chose 10 years, mom. Why only 10 years? You know that means you'll die at 18, right? I think we should have another child, one who will live a longer life. Okay, sure, you're right. We should have another child. I only have seven days left, meaning next week I'm going to die. Amara, quickly go wash your clothes right now. I'm sick and tired of you telling me to do everything. I can't wait till next week. At least I won't be your maid anymore. Mom, I'm going to school, okay? No, you can't go to school. Why do you even want to go? It's pointless. But mom, I want to see my friends. Just let her go. She's already cleaned the whole house. Okay, fine. You can go. Amara, you're here? Yes, my mom finally let me come. Oh yeah, by the way, how much time do you have? Only seven more days. Is there no other way to extend your time? I don't think there is one. I don't even know why I picked 10 years. I was young and stupid. Right, you were only a child. You didn't think straight. Mom, I'm home. Why isn't mom here? Hi, sis. Why are you home? Shouldn't you be in school? I skipped. Skipping again? Yes, why? You're crazy. You still have 80 years left and you're skipping school. I wish I could live longer so I could go to school. Not everyone wishes that. I wish I had a shorter life. My sister's so weird. She has a long life. Why does she want to shorten it? Swap remaining time with sis? I got a choice to exchange my remaining time with you. Yeah, I also got that choice. Press yes. You want to live long and I don't. Why don't you want to live long? Because... Because I have cancer. Cancer? Yes, the doctor said I would live for 80 years, but I don't want to live while I'm sick. Why didn't you tell us? You know how our parents are. They're obsessed with my future, and I don't want to let them down. Please, let's just exchange. But she's mom's favorite child. If she knows, she'll hate me. Please, Amara. Okay, okay. I'll exchange my remaining time with you. Really? Thank you so much. Let's see what will happen. Hopefully, I'll get to live at my grandma's house. Huh, mom's house? But I'm already at my mom's house. It's so boring here. I'm just gonna refuse. Why did you reject? I wanna live at my grandma's house. I already told you so many times. You can't go there. I don't care. I wanna go there anyway. I'm gonna be living at my uncle's house. I'm gonna live at my friend's house. Where are you gonna live? I haven't chosen a house yet. It's okay, but make sure you choose one soon because everyone must have a house. Hopefully today I'll get grandma's house. Tasha's house? But she's my biggest enemy. I'll have to decline this one. Hopefully the next house I'll get will be my grandma's house. What was that? He was shot because he doesn't have a house, so he's considered useless. Didn't he get options? Yes, but he kept declining, so he ran out. Who here doesn't have a house? 
Amara, don't you have a house yet? Not yet, sir. If you don't choose a house soon, you have to leave school. But why? Because all students here must have an address. Please, just give me a good one this time. Jake's house? But he's my ex. Come on, Amara, just accept it. It's better than nothing. No, I'm not going to live with him. He cheated on me. Plus, I don't want to see his new girlfriend. If you keep refusing, you won't get any more options. Uh oh, it's not loading anymore. Do you think I ran out of options? If in three days you still haven't gotten any options, the government could come after you. Mom, I'm home. You still don't have a house yet? No, because I'm hoping to get Grandma's house. You can't go there. Why? Why won't you let me go to her house? It's best if you don't know. Yes, it's loading again. I didn't run out of options. Grandma's house. But... Mom said I can't go there, right? But if I don't choose, I'll get killed because I don't have a house. I have to. Number of injuries? Mom, are you okay? I'm okay, honey. Why are you asking? Don't lie. I know you're hurt. Actually, yes. I fell this morning. How did you know? I think I can see the number of times people get hurt. Oh, so that's your new power? Yes. Sis, I don't want to go to school today. Why don't you want to go to school? I tripped earlier and now my leg is injured. You only have one wound and it's small. Let's just go. No, it really hurts a lot. You can't lie to me. What? Babe, we have to cancel the date today. Why? You promised we'd go. This morning I was hit by a motorbike so I can't go anymore. You think you can lie to me? You don't have any injuries. But I'm not lying. I'm really hurt. Where? Show me. You don't even have one scratch on your body. Uh. I don't like guys who lie so let's just break up. Wait! Today's lesson is about to start. Um, sir? What is it, Amara? If you're sick, you don't have to teach us today. But you guys will miss out on a lot of lessons. No, sir. We can learn by ourselves. I see. Thank you, Amara. You're welcome, sir. I hope you get better soon. Amara, you know Ryan, our classmate, right? The quiet Ryan? Yeah, you can see the number of injuries, right? Aren't you curious to see his? Because he's always so quiet. True. I'll see you later. I also wonder why he's always so quiet. From a physical point of view, he looks fine. Hi, Ryan. Why is he so silent? I'm speaking to you. Answer. I prefer to be alone. How come his number of injuries is infinity? Why are there people with infinity injuries? Did you find out how many Ryan has? Yes, and his number of injuries is infinity. This means he has a lot of wounds. True, but why is he physically fine? I think he's hiding something. Try following him after school. Good idea. I hope he doesn't know I'm following him. Finally, I'm home. I'm tired of having to pretend this whole time. Five younger siblings of five best friends. I've never had a friend, so five best friends. If I choose to have five younger siblings, my mom will love me the same as she does now that I'm an only child. What? No, I chose five best friends. You really don't know, do you? You have to make five friends. They won't just appear out of nowhere. Really? Yeah, and you better hurry up and find them because you only have 24 hours to do so. Hey, do you want to be my friend? No, because you don't meet my friendship requirements. Friendship requirements? Really? Yeah, if you want to be my friend, you have to be rich and good looking. You're crazy. How can I make friends? <gasps> I have an idea. Come on, who wants to be friends with me? You won't regret it. I could be a good listener. She's so weird. <laughs> This is never gonna work. Hey, I wanna be your friend. I'm also looking for a new friend. Okay, now we're best friends. Hey friend, we only have 24 hours to make another four friends. Yes, and? Hmm. Do you know what happened to the people who chose five younger siblings?